and then I can crack on with regards to the training because there are uh, rather a lot of uh, questions that have come through that I am going to focus on um, covering and there's also some links that I'm just going to drop thank you Leanne there's also some, some links that I'm going to drop in here as well because people always ask me for the links so there's the links to support you further one first of all in the comment section there is the your Kangen education site that I created to support customers everyone who purchases the products is firstly a customer and then secondly to support you as a distributor so that's in there that's free to access there's the York Hang and Water Guy membership that launches live next month for uh, November. So I'm excited about the launch of that. And um, also many questions I get around pre-filtration. That's all there to support you as well. So you can go back to that uh, pretty much first, second comment after Leanne. And um, yeah, go from there. Hey, Dylan, great to see you in the house as well as Leanne and everybody else that's jumping on now. Fantastic. So... Remember, guys, drop your questions in here. This is this is your time now to get anything answers that's coming up. I do have questions that have already come through. So I'll be going through them until I see more questions in the chat on the live call. Remember, the power of being on the live call, if it fits in with your schedule, is that you get your questions asked. Um, and once again, I did intend to be... Um, I did intend to be on a zoom and have you live on the call but unfortunately that didn't work out so first question i would love to know what is the best information or rather best information tools about kangen water to share to medical practitioners and people working in a health business so naturally we are or we basically are promoting a what's known as a japanese medical device and it's just something that i'll touch on the right from the start we're actually not allowed to use the language of medical device. It has to be Japanese medical device. So just make sure you put Japanese in front. If you've got anything on social media, you really want to address that. Industry regulators are cracking down because it's actually viewed by them as you making it sound like it's an approved medical device all over the world, which is not true. It's only approved as a Japanese medical device. So just make sure that you, you're aware of that. If you've got a team, you're, you're making sure you're communicating that to them as well. Very, very important. Enagic's really cracking down on that as well. Um, we talk about it on the compliance calls that you can access there that happen every month. Um, so best information tools. When you think about the medical industry and people who, when we say health industry, we're not talking um, necessarily about people who, you know, necessarily just into health and fitness. Um, we're actually looking at, respectfully, a higher level of education. They're wanting to know information. They're li most likely not going to go to Google. They want peer-reviewed evidence. So that peer-reviewed evidence around electrolyzed reduced water, there is nothing to my knowledge on Kangen water. Now, the Enagic medical um, advisor, Dr. Hortzfeltzer, he's done some studies and tests that he released in a little magazine brochure thing. Um, but there's actually nothing peer reviewed, so nothing outside of Enagic that's independent to, to support any benefits, any health claims, anything like that. However, what you're able to do is communicate it in a way that people understand that the water produced from an ionizer is known as or called or referred to as electrolyzed reduced water. And if anyone goes to PubMed, P U B M E D, PubMed, or Google Scholar, not Google, Google Scholar, and types in electrolyzed reduced water, then it will bring up hundreds to thousands of studies. There are a few that are on human beings. A lot of them are on um, like mice, rats, or so on. Bearing in mind, it's water, so it's it's safe. Um, but the, 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 uh, there are there are a few. There's not that many, but there are a few. You can use molecular hydrogen. This is one that's pushed around a lot. Unfortunately, because it's something to try and attract, a lot of people misinform around molecular hydrogen and especially the information on that, the studies. One of the main areas is that a lot of the studies, if you read the study, it's got nothing to do with water and everything to do with the gas. So the, the, um, the test that was performed was not through water. So it's actually not relevant. So it's important that we are aware of it, especially if we're going to go down that road. But my advice would be anybody who's 
a medical practitioner or certainly asking for the science and peer-reviewed evidence, it's likely that they know how to read the studies, possibly over the majority of the population. Therefore, provide them with access to that and let them go and find the information that they're looking for would be my advice. That's been my experience and it's worked really well for me. Um, hey, Phil. Hey, Mike. Good to see you all jumping on. Can you clarify, Leon? can you clarify the importance of keeping an Ucon ID active? Indeed, I can, Leon. So with regards to your Ucon, um, what's important to be aware is that Ucon is its own individual business model. That means it's completely separate from the, the um, Enesper and, and um, Ionizers side of things. So to help you understand the way that the comp plan works from a simple point via leveraging Ucon. First of all, remember that Ucon is a consumable. That means that we're going to consume it, whether that be the capsules or the tea. Don't consume the soap. It probably doesn't taste that great, even though it's great for your skin. Um, but the focus here is that it's used and therefore needs replenishing. So what's advised to do is to actually not only when you look at it, but when you're advised to do as a business is that every time you buy Ucon, you would sell it to yourself, to like your ionizer position or your Inespa position, ideally your top position. You would sell it to that. So what happens is, is that when you buy Ucon to your, let's just say top position and it's an Inespa, then that counts as a sale in your business. That helps for rank advancement. Secondly, you also earn commission back on any of your own purchases. So you earn commission on that Ucon. One, the most powerful thing about Ucon from a business strategy is that it's a direct sale to you. So that means that it counts as keeping your account fully active. Now, when you look at the Enagic business model, to avoid people just joining, sitting back and doing nothing and everybody else in their organization running around making loads of sales, Enagic have put steps in place to make sure that we continue to show up. And if we continue to show up, we will be rewarded from the comp plan. So there's the thing called the SP. Now, if you don't have a direct sale within 93 days, you lose the SP. It's, it's, it's a special point. It's kind of like a bonus um, that you get paid. What that means is, is that any time anyone in your downline, your whole organization makes a sale, if you haven't made a direct sale in 93 days, then you will not be paid the commission with the SP. And to give you an example of this, in Australia, a Kangane ionizer is worth, per point, is worth $365. $75 of that is SP. So if we take that off, it's $290 per point, which means if you've not made a direct sale within 93 days, and one of your team makes a sale of a K8, let's just say you're a 2A and that they came in your 2A lane, you won't earn two times $365 from the sale. You will earn two times $290 because you won't have, won't have a, a SP activated. So this is where selling Ucon to yourself or buying Ucon is powerful because it keeps your whole organization active. You get the products to consume or you utilize and it keeps your business active for team sales. If you don't have a team and it's an expensive thing to buy right now and you're not or you're not interested in taking it, maybe it's best not to buy it. But my advice is it if you have bought it and you've done it from a business strategy. A lot of people don't tell you this, especially in the online platforms. It drives me crazy. And there's been a lot of complaints to Enagic about this. You must buy it two more times. Ucon DD, when you buy your original purchase, you then must buy it twice more in the 12 months to lock in the position. If you do not buy Ucon a second time, the original Ucon in your business falls off that, that position. So if you bought it and it was to fill a 1A lane because you bought three products such as the Inespa, the K8 and the Ucon, and you and you only buy it once and you don't renew it again, 
that position, that Ucon that was in the 1A, filling the 1A lane, disappears. So your next sale is not a 2A, it goes in the other 1A lane. This happened to a lot of people who were very, very angry with Enagic when it was actually nothing to do with Enagic. It was a lack of information provided by the sponsor. So really important you understand um, the benefit from the, the health aspect of it, but more importantly, if you're focusing it on your business. So let me know if that's made sense there, um, Leanne, because that's definitely something that I want to ensure that you've received that. Ucon's a fantastic, I've, I've been taking Ucon ever since I joined in Agitic, which is over seven and a half years now. And, um, and I've, whether it be the capsules, the tea, the uh, soap, used it all. I believe they're doing Kangen rice at the moment. I did get given Kangen rice ages ago. Um, sadly, I didn't use it. Um, it was years ago I got given it and I didn't use it. But um, I just thought it was a cool thing and kept it in this packet. But the um, it's uh, best before date had run out anyway. So the, 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 the angle there is just be aware that you can, um, it works very strategically as a business model. And something I didn't touch on, SP 93 days, even though your renewal on Ucon is four months, which is more than 93 days, let's just say it's 120, Enagic allow you to actually be selling yourself Ucon to continue to keep your account active. That's it. That's kind of like a, a bonus, if you will. Uh, thank you for buying Ucon. If you're selling it to yourself, we're going to make sure that you, your account remains active to earn more commissions. So it is definitely good as a business strategy. Um, okay. Great, thanks. What's the tea like? I think the tea tastes great. Um, I really do. I think the tea tastes great. It's a it's a unique taste, and I, I don't think it's actually that strong. I I, I was quite fine with it. Um, I haven't. I don't take it anymore because we don't have a kettle. We live in the caravan tour in Australia. And I'm not interested in wasting gas boiling water. So um, we don't and we don't have a kettle in here. So I don't take it anymore. I just consume the Ucon capsules and use the soap. So works really well for me. And that's just my personal choice, by the way. So micro clustering, um, I'm assuming the question there is, what is micro clustering? Is, would you like to confirm that, Leanne, for me? Um, and then I can cover that. The other, whilst you're doing that, I'll just go to Phil. Martin, so when I renew my Ucon, do I put it under my existing 1A Ucon or into my 2A? So when you're renewing Ucon, if you put it in your 1A lane, and that's your first purchase, and you renew it two more times to lock in that position, the two more times of renewal will go will remain as a renewal for Ucon, and it will always go as 1A. What, what it's important to be aware of is that as you climb the comp plan, you obviously want to be looking here as to, well, when I sell myself Ucon, I earn more commission based on the rank that it's in. So it is advised from a strategy to renew it once you've bought it three times and that position's locked in place to renew it in your foray. Now, I didn't know about this strategy. It was new, sorry, turn the power off. It was new to me. So, um, and I already flown past foray. So I renewed my Yukon at 6A. So now when I buy Yukon, I earn six points commission, excuse me, from it. And I get obviously the product. So that's fantastic. Uh, I'm just writing down the questions and highlighting them. Okay, can we talk about micro as a health benefit? Mm, you, the, the one thing that came out, the thing with micro clustering is it's not scientifically, terminology wise, correct. So micro clustering is a way to explain it so that the masses understand it. So just be aware that you will get some resistance from anyone who's scientifically minded. I got, for instance, my post got thrown into a, a science group and you should have seen the comments that were happening on it because of them wanting to use, they were using all the jargon and I was just, and I looked there and read it and, and I went, the sad thing is, is that arguably 99% or even greater 99.7% of the population have no, under, no understanding or no idea of what you guys are talking about with the language you're using. Therefore, you can't impact people's lives. We can't impact people's lives when we're using terminology that they don't understand. One, because they don't understand it. And two, they won't remember it 
to be able to share it with anybody if they want to help other people or they want to explain it to the partner. Right? It doesn't work. So, and this has been my experience. Even when I worked as a personal trainer, I remember working with a, a group of guys and they were like, oh, you always sound so thick when you're explaining stuff. And I went, yeah, but all my clients understand exactly what they're doing, why they're doing it and the benefit of it enough to be able to, to, to go away and help somebody else. You guys use the terminology to make yourself sound good, but no one remembers any of it because it's only terminology we use at college or university or wherever it may be where we study. So it's really important that we try and simplify that. The, in regards to the question around the, what you asked there about the microclustering, there is a compliance document that has been released by um, EWS. If you go into the back office, so you go to enagic.com on the website, go over to EWS login and then log into your account, you'll be able to download that new compliance document. And in there, it does actually say that Kangen Water that don't quote me on this, but it does say down the lines of Kangen water will hydrate the body better than purified water, tap water, and so on. And there's actually a um, study link to it as well that you can use. So micro clustering, you can certainly, you can certainly share it more around um, through the process of electrolysis or ionization, the water, the water gets health benefits in particular. It be, it's believed it's going to become more bioavailable to the body. You could probably share that, but I, I think I think a lot of the stuff now that we would share, it goes back to that thing of prove it. And if you can't prove it, it's best not to say it. Um, I think I think that's that's the best way to go with with regards to the micro clustering. I just want to um, highlight that. So, okay, I'm multitasking here. I've got a document working from and um, flying through the comments. So I've seen some comparisons of microclustering to stuffing grapes in glass. Yes. So I've explained it in presentations simply around if you're playing tennis and you hit the tennis ball against the net, it hits the net and drops to the floor. If you throw marbles through at the net, they go through. So it's the same process of it's it's making the the, the molecular structure smaller. Um, that that un, people understand that people have also used bottles, especially like the fifteen twenty um, liter drum bottles, where you put it on like a, a water dispenser, and they've said getting grapes. You know, if you try and push all the grapes in, they're not going to go. But if you break the grapes off individually from the bunch, you can drop them in easily. So. Yeah, you can use that kind of terminology to explain. Um, probably one of the biggest things that's still floating around is, and I see this from people who are very well known in Najik. Sadly, some people are just completely um, like motivated from a place of greed. They won't admit it; they'll they'll fly the conscious flag, but they're motivated from greed and they do the posting stuff that is non-compliant. They cannot prove, but it sounds good and it entices people in. So. Um, the, the thing of car drinking a, a glass of Kangen water is the equivalent of five pound of blueberries or so much broccoli or whatever it is. That, those images have been floating around for years. When I first joined Inagic, they were floating around. So, you know, seven and a half years on, that's still been floating around. And I'm yet to see any peer-reviewed evidence to back that up. So you know, I shared it back then because there was no focus. But Inagic really, especially the last two years has been trying to get the information out to us as distributors and say, hey guys, look, we love what you're doing, but unfortunately, industry regulators don't like that. They don't want you posting things because you can't back it up, which then means it's a claim and it's enticement and it's misleading the public. And remember, you, I, or everyone else is, is the public. So we've got to make sure, we don't. none of us want to be misled. So if we don't want to be misled, we shouldn't really be misleading other people for our own financial benefit, because reality is that most of us wouldn't be investing our time into this space as a distributor, sharing the information if it wasn't a financial benefit. Yeah, we'd no doubt say, oh, if friends come over, family comes over, oh, the, this product's fantastic, love it. But we wouldn't invest our time and energy and, and even resources into learning as much as we do if we weren't being financially rewarded. We'd focus our energy elsewhere because at the end of the day, that's why we all use the excuse of I'm busy. 
and you're focusing on what you need to do in order to get the results you want. So that would be something that I, that I definitely uh, highlight there. So remember, any more questions that are coming through, please, please drop them in. Um, what's the difference between alkaline and alkalized water? So without getting all scientific on this one, the simplest thing is alkaline water, unless it's from a natural spring that is alkaline rich, which very few and far between. Um, yes, there are many around the world, but few and far between that we have access to that we can just get straight away in our home every single day, then alkaline water is often water that has been pre-filtered, vigorously filtered in many ways, and then minerals added to it to increase its alkalinity, the pH of it, to make it alkaline. The difference between the Kangen water in particular or alkalized water is simply that we don't add any minerals to the water. The water itself channels through the ionizer and there is a charge put into the water. When that charge um, goes into the water, it then changes the structure of the water. And when we put drops in it, it changes it. So it's a, it shows the, the high pH, but it's an electrical charge that's utilized with the body and can't build up in the body. Whereas the concerns, why there's so many concerns around alkaline water from a point of min high mineral content, especially the bottled waters and the filters that are being promoted right now, is that there's a huge concern that we're getting too many minerals into our body that could calcify within our body because we would normally have got them from um, food sources that we maybe don't anymore, hence why there's such a big focus on alkaline water. And it's being absorbed in too quickly and potentially calcifying because there's too much of it. So this is why I said there's potentially, and I've used the language as it's believed and there's information out there. It's not me that's saying this, it's not me making claims. It's that all the information I've read around it, the big concerns, uh, and, and at the end of the day, when we think of alkaline, remember the power of marketing. The job of a marketer is to attract your attention, whether that be in the supermarket, whether it be on a website, a billboard, a newspaper, whatever it would be. It's to attract your attention. So they use key buzzwords to pull you in. And that's that and me. I'm not, I'm, I'm not exempt from this by any means. But the focus there is that it's to pull us in to then sell us the product. And when we hear the word alkaline, we often connect it with good health, you know, optimal health. The problem is, is that too much of anything alkaline can take us into alkalosis. Right? And this isn't like we're not really being educated around this. We just think, oh, I want a really high, a good alkaline diet. It's going to help me. Really. Not necessarily. Yes, it's better than eating um, trans fats and a lot of acidic foods and things like that. Absolutely. But you can also go too far the other way. So it's really important that we create that balance. And, in, and Kangen water, I've not been able to find any negative peer-reviewed evidence. Now, there's a lot of people more than happy to share the, the, the bad experience with Kangen water, um, which usually comes down to they would met, a health claim was made. They chose to act and buy on the information they were given, maybe even the health claims or the income claims or whatever it would be. And then they're not happy. They had an expectation that wasn't fulfilled. So therefore they're disappointed and they blame the product. They blame the Kangen water. They blame the company. Most of us never, ever take ownership for our decisions, our actions, our choices that have consequences. We're happy to fly the flag of, of being, being, a, in being a good decision when it works out. But when it doesn't, we often look to point the finger and put, put the blame. We, or many of us don't take ownership. So this is really important when we, when we look around this aspect of um, what you're sharing with people. What have you heard? What have you been told? Were you misled from somebody sharing testimonials? Did you want testimonials and search them out? And a distributor like me, I won't give you any testimonials. I won't tell you my personal experience. I've had people not buy through me because they wanted to hear testimonials. They wanted to hear a person's experience. They've bought through the people that were willing to share that, which is non-compliant. 
And all that does then is create an expectation that there is no peer-reviewed evidence that will back up what's been shared. Irrelevant of how good our testimony is. Irrelevant of how good our experience is. Now, I am not this passionate because the product's crap, because Kangen water's crap, because I didn't have an experience. I am passionate because I did have an experience, because I've seen the information, because I've trialed different things, because I've re researched and I've tested different things. Like, that's why I'm passionate, because of my personal experience and all the information I've got in my noggin. Now, you can't get that. You cannot get that from a book. Like as much information as I know, most of my information is experienced because I've tested and I've wanted to find out, is that true and so on. What does it taste like? What does it feel like? How do I feel? You cannot be passionate without having that spiritual experience and connecting to that. And that's why, like, I, I saw somebody who did a video and they were just absolutely slating in Ajik. And everything they said had nothing to do with Inagic. The only thing, the only connection to Inagic was that they bought the products through Inagic. They came through an online platform that they were sold to. They were told all these things. They fell for the flashing lights and the hype and the excitement. They then chose to buy the products. It was their choice. No one stole the credit card or got access to the bank account. They chose to buy the product. They still continue to complain about it and carry on and blame the platform and blame the people. And yes, they are, they are not doing Ginagic any favors by the way they're behaving. But at the end of the day, it comes back to us. And as distributors, how are we showing up? How are we protecting the ship? How are we avoiding letting any water seep in? So just make sure that when you're sharing anything to do with Inagic, anything to do with the products, the waters, benefits, comp plan, anything that you are 100% sure you are doing so compliantly. And if you are 1% unsure, you need to ask your sponsor. And if she or he cannot help you and give you a 100% sure answer, and I'd be questioning then don't post it like it's just not worth it especially because they are clamping down so uh excuse me my dog is barking i'm just going to grab the dog his mum is on another call in the car and he loves his mother so when his mother's not in, the, in in here he starts barking and carrying on plus he can see birds so let's uh let's see some of the questions okay cat lovely to see you why do some people say the hypochloric acid is the same as bleach how can this be explained so do you mean cat just want to make sure i'm i'm understanding your question do you mean from a point of um cleaning what do you mean the same as bleach um, i'm not sure about that and it's hypochlorous acid not hypochloric acid but um feel free to to just just share that and i'll come back to you I'm not sure if i missed your answer uh, you may have done um I did I did go through it, Phil, so I did explain um there you might have to go back because I'm not gonna go back through that one again. Um if if you've bought it basically in a nutshell, Phil, if you've bought it if you've bought Ucom three times, Ucom DD three times in the first twelve months, then you've locked in that position and you can buy Ucon in any other position after that. You can continue in your 1A or you can go to wherever else. But basically you must buy Ucon in your 1a account three to if wherever whichever account it came whichever lane it came in you must buy Yukon three times dd to lock in that position if you don't you will void it and on the on the paperwork it does say Ucon renewal will be classed as a, a 1a um so just be aware of that um as someone who beat cancer holistically i can confirm too alkaline is not good 
I tried a high alkaline diet and found that I had so many issues for the exact reasons you just shared. Yeah, thank you for sharing, Kat. Uh, and I'm glad to hear you beat cancer. So thank you for sharing. Do you recommend any books like Confessions of a Skeptical Physician? Yes, I do. Um, the challenge that we're to be aware of is that unless it's from Enagic, then we're not supposed to really be sharing any information um, from those those books or pamphlets or whatever it would be. So unless from Enagic corporate, so that's not an Enagic distributor not a doctor or anybody like that outside of Enagic or even in Enagic. It has to come from Enagic corporate for us to be able to share it. And once again, that goes back to protecting ourselves um, as as people and as distributors, um, but also protecting Enagic. So that, um, for instance, for with the EWS compliance document, you can share anything from that document. So you can go and download it. You can share anything from that. And if any industry regulator ever reached out to you or, or even Enagic reached out to you and said, hey, what well, you can't post this, this is misinformation, blah, blah, blah. You can say, this was provided to me by Enagic, which then takes the focus off you and directs it to Enagic and Enagic have to address it. So that's why it's always important. I think it's a good thing from a, I've got, I've got so many books to do with um ionized water and, and kangen water and so on and books that have been created by other distributors and, and things like that i learned from a lot of that but i learned a lot of that from a point of getting that information for myself it gave me more confidence belief in the company in the products and so on um, but even though i read that going back to the difference between an intellectual understanding as in information and research and so on to a spiritual understanding, it was only when I went to in uh, to Okinawa in Japan and celebrated Mr. Ishiro's 76th birthday that I then spiritually understood Enagic, where I connected truly with Enagic. It wasn't going to the, the office in Sydney. It wasn't all the calls and the live presentations that I did and the tests and so on. It was about being in Okinawa, being in the factory, being with Mr. Ishiro, where I spiritually connected. So um, these books are great books. They may be good to, you know, if you've got somebody who, for instance, is a physician that you say, hey, here's a book, have a read through this, let them make up their own mind, but be careful marketing it online um, because that is another area that the Enagic's cracking down on. And it's not, it's not that Enagic's cracking down on it to try and stop us. It's that Enagic is being cracked down on by industry regulators to say, hey, you need to actually control your distributors because we've had such insane growth since late 2017 via online platforms, which is fantastic. But uh, from a positive, the growth is fantastic, but there's always a negative. We live in a world of polarity, dichotomy. So the, the polarity is that the negative aspect is what was the attraction for those people? And the majority of the marketing was money, 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 freedom, lifestyle, money that's it so what do people do then they want that and they find any way they can so if they have to make health claims if they have to share misinformation you know and a lot of the misinformation is literally passed down from the top a lot of the income claims and health claims are passed down from the top i'm not talking mr ashiro i'm talking the sponsors their lines especially it who have come in not all online platforms don't get me wrong and not everybody i'm not saying I'm not tarnishing everybody but there's a lot of it in that space. There is a lot of it. I see it all the time. I have people complaining to me that they were brought in that way, that they were marketed, that they don't want to line, that they, they don't trust the people that they were shown and they were going to buy, or even that they bought and they're so disappointed because as soon as they bought, all this promise of support and so on was disappeared. And it was like, just follow the platform, just pay your monthly membership, just follow it, it'll work. That isn't support. That is not support. So just make sure that anything you're sharing is compliant and, and that you are gonna be there as well for, for other people. Uh, I saw a guy do this psoriasis guy. I saw a guy did this psoriasis guy and bashed in Agic and didn't even test the product or use it, but someone misled them. Yet yeah, there's, there's so much, there's, there's a guy that was doing um, 
a water test and his test was actually really good. And then on the test, he badmouthed the Inagic. Uh, well, he badmouthed Kangen water. And all these people were like, yeah, yeah, Kangen water is rubbish and blah, blah, blah. And I, I was actually invited onto the live call. And in the, in the chat on Facebook, I just said, um, you know, your presentation was great. Right until you chose to bad bag another company and the product, in particular Kangen water, without doing a live test. So you were happy to live test your product that you, you're a distributor for, but you chose to badmouth another company when you weren't actually going to do the live test. And I said, tell you what, do the live test to support what you've said. And he's like, I don't need to do the live test to support what I've said. And this guy's got a large following, part of a group that vibrationally, they, they think this guy high, but really they couldn't be any lower. So the the focus that... I said, do the test, back up what you've said. I don't have to. He said, okay, well, I'll do the test then to, to prove that what you've shared is, is it in misinformation. Um, anyway, to get the water, so this was, this was a bottled alkaline water from a natural spring. To get the water, you have to buy it through a distributor. Could I source it? Nobody would sell it to me. Nobody would get back to me. So my partner had to contact them and she managed to get it. To which then I did a live test. I even put it on YouTube and I even said, this isn't a bad mouth. This water is actually really good water from a bottled water perspective and natural alkaline. But is it the same as Kangen water? Is it as good as Kangen water? Let the live test prove it. And the live test proved that it wasn't. So the point being, and it goes back to what I was saying earlier around, if you can't prove it, probably don't say it because it's a claim that you'll only end up looking silly on. So it's definitely something to be aware of. Um, yeah, any tyrant, life ionizers, Alcaviva, Alcaway, there's so many different companies out there that make ionizers or water filter products. And their focus is the bad mouth in magic. It's, of course it is. They're trying to sell the products. You know, that's the way that they choose to market. And they know that if they piggyback on the success of Inagic, they're more than likely to get in front of people and therefore be able to um, manipulate because most people have no idea. They just want, I want the cleanest water, I want the healthiest water, I want the best value I can possibly get at the cheapest price. That's what we all want. So when they land on a website that a marketing team have created that want to make sure that they're saying why they're the best, like belittling other products, in particular in Agic, because it's so expensive and it's an MLM model and all the usual crap that gets posted out there, the misinformation that's posted out there they believe it because we are wired to protect ourselves, survival. And we come across and we go, this person cares about me. This company wants the best for me. This company doesn't want me to waste my money. And we go, this company just wants to sell you a product and they're manipulating you. Very low form of marketing. They're manipulating you to buy the product. And you probably will if you want the cheapest price. And that's always going to be the challenge. So, um, who was it who asked earlier on around the hypochlorous acid? Was it was it Kat? Um, yes. Okay, Kat, it was you here. Just come back. Um, okay. So the the uh, so Enagic Enagic doesn't use hypochlorous acid like the. Enagic uses the electrolysis enhancer, which is basically a saline solution to create the 2.5 hypochlorous acid. You cannot make hypochlorous acid without the saline solution in an ionizer. So their ionizers, I'm not going to mention the name of the companies, but their ionizers say we, go, we can make 2.5 pH strongest uh, acidic water. It's not hypochlorous acid. There is a difference. And that's where most people, once again, the marketing, if you see 2.5 um, uh, uh, strong acidic water on the Enagic site or the information that's maybe being shared by a distributor and you go onto another site and it says 2.5 strong acidic water, 2.5 acidic water, it's exactly the same to the untrained person. So you think you're getting the same. And that's one of the marketing strategies of the other companies to say, oh, to get you must have a saline solution to be able to create the, the waters. Some of them even say to create Kangen water. 
And I've had people reach out to me and go, why does yours need a solution to create the waters when theirs don't? And I'm like, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. This is what it said on the website. And I said, it's misinformation. It is only used, the saline solution, you can take out the chamber and you can still produce beauty water, clean water, kangen water. Without that, it's only used to create the 2.5 and 11.5 because it cannot be created without it. Oh. And I said, if they're misinforming you there, where else do you think they may be misinforming you? Like, it's the, it, it is literally a charlatan industry from competitors trying to get sales by piggybacking off the back of Inagic. Um, and it's dangerous because molecularly it's the same bleach. So... Uh, it's best anything you've created. So anything anyone creates, um, Kat here said, is also, is it, is it okay? Is it possible if I send you a PDF I made to check if it's compliant? You don't want me as a distributor. Remember, I'm exactly the same as you as a distributor. You do not want me as a distributor to say something's compliant. Because if you get pulled on it, saying, well, Martin approved it, does not stand up for you. It needs to be approved by Enagic to say it is it is safe to use. Okay, so um, for instance, I'm going to be speaking at the Enagic annual event here in a, in Australia this year, and I'm going to be doing a a, a prospects presentation so people can come uh, to see and learn more about Enagic and so uh, and the company and the products and so on. A live test. I'm also doing distributor training at the event. So. Um, um, on the Friday, and I think that, and they want me to speak again on the Saturday for the 6A and above leaders. All my presentation has to be approved to be compliant. So I am going to go straight to Enagic Compliance Department and say, hey, this is what I've put together. Can you prove it's compliant before I deliver it? Bang, done. The same as if, if anyone makes a, a website, even though there's a strong focus that distributors can't have a website, some countries allow it, but it has to be approved by Enagic Compliance. And I know distributors that have sent it in and the Nagic have said, take it down. Or distributors who have been non-compliant and they've then tried, they've then created stuff and the Nagic have just gone, you've not at any point played ball. So no, you can't have it. And that's the importance of Enagic are watching all the time. So the thing to be aware of is, is that if we're actively being non-compliant, even from a point of, and I don't want to get caught up here, but this is something to be aware of. And I wasn't aware of this until recently. If a distributor, so if you or any other distributor is non-compliant, what ends up happening is, is when you get to the ranks where you start earning bonuses, so the 6A2s, uh, dash 2, dash 3, dash 4, more so dash 3 onwards, which is a big one that a lot of people are striving for, and woohoo, all this money, Enagic actually have a, a percentage calculating system where they go through, I think it's 10 areas. And compliance is one of them, and it's a big chunk of the percentage makeup. And if you've not been compliant to get there or you're continuing to not get compliant, you will drastically reduce or lose your bonus payments. So these are some important things to be aware of around how you choose to show up. And remember, how you choose to show up from this moment forward dictates the people that come into your business and what they do in their business, which affects your business and theirs. So lead by example. If the message is anything, we've got to lead by example. Um, yeah, so um, in regards to copy and pasting, then it, it should be fine. Um I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be basically as long as it's an it's it's approved information from Enagic, then it doesn't need to be on the Enagic actual thingy because you can refer back to it, but it definitely needs to be on um you definitely needs to be from Enagic, whatever we're sharing, or approved by Enagic. So uh so just remember guys, if you're asking questions, write questions so I, I know so I don't just read through comments respectfully. Um, yeah, so 
the challenge with anyone who's leading with science and like buzzes off science and so on, you really do have to be careful. Um, once again, there are no peer reviewed studies on Kangen water to my knowledge, and certainly not the of uh, Enagic have said as soon as there is, they will be put out. There's nothing that's come out. So it is really important that when you're linking anything, anything to science based, that you are making sure even the, the peer reviewed evidence, like say if you use this, this is this is like a, an example. Here's a, here's a peer reviewed study on why Kangen water is so beneficial to your health. If that peer reviewed study was not from um, water, from a from an enagic ionizer that produces obviously that and it's Kangen water, that study doesn't hold up. Think of it. That that water could be from a competitor's ionizer. It could be from any ionizer. It could be from an industrial ionizer. It has to marry up across the board. There has to be a synergy with it all. So just be aware of that um, when you're going down to um, when you're going down the road of anything science-based. Which uh, which this, this based on this is in what Kat's talking about. Um, it, there isn't really anything, really anything given s proper science-based from Enagic. Um, there's information, the new document that's come out, the EWS compliance document covers um, a little bit of information and some links, but it's not um, like there's not that much. And I know the Enagic.com website's just updated some of the pages, hopefully it updates more. But uh, and there's some good information on there to rely on. But that's where you go. You go to get that information. But just be be careful of t attaching anything to Kangen water that you cannot um provide proof with and it just literally comes down to language and i i love i love using um i love using this example it's such a powerful way to understand the the right way of words in regards to the where they are in a sentence the and the, the two completely different results okay so the first first sentence the dog bit johnny so four words, the dog bit Johnny. So we know that Johnny's now sore because he was bit by the dog. The dog bit Johnny. If you rearrange those words, Johnny bit the dog. Same four words, positioned differently, completely different result. And I've seen so many online posts of people whether they were rushing, whether they even weren't, weren't even aware of it, maybe even they wanted to, maybe they were consciously aware of it and chose to do it. But so many people have actually um, said things that aren't true. Like, you can have super clean water and fluoride out and heavy metals out and all this stuff. Um, contact me and I'm like, that's not true. And then... So I'm like, oh, well, that's what I was told by my sponsor. Well, that was what I was told. I was told there was no fluoride in, in the water from my, when, when it goes through ionization. That's not true. So, but then, and then I've, con I've contacted other people and said, hey, your post isn't, isn't actually truthful. It's misleading. They're like, yeah, but I've got a pre-filter. Like, but you never actually said that in your post. You never said you also bought a pre-filter before your ionizer to remove the fluoride and the heavy metals and so on, which is misleading. Because if I come along and I want a KA or an ionizer, for instance, from, from you, from you go, wow, I want that. And then you say, oh, yeah, but you've also got to buy pre-filter. Well, your post, your, your marketing never said that. That's misleading. I don't want to be misled. How can I, how can I trust that person? Because if they're going to come from a, pl a place of a lack of integrity there, where else are they coming from a lack of integrity in their life? And how are they going to support me in my business? And more importantly, as a human being in my life. Because this is a relationship business. The reason why the second pillar of true health is mental relationship health. It's because it's about people coming together and supporting each, other's, each other. Which means that 
there's going to be times in our lives where things aren't going so well and we're not going to give our business time and attention because we need to focus on the things like our relationship with ourselves, with our intimate partner, with our family, with our friends. Maybe you get sick, maybe something that somebody else gets sick and needs our attention and that's going to affect other areas of our lives. You need a friend then. You don't need somebody stepping in going, what are you doing with the business? Come on, you just need to follow the training. Come on, you need to be making more sales. Come on, you need to be contacting more people. You need someone who's going to step in and understand that you're a human being and you need support. You need a friend. That's what this business is about. That's what my whole focus is. When people reach out to me and say, it's important you're aware that by stepping into business with me and Inajik, we are creating a friendship and the friendship is more important to me than the business relationship. If all you want is a business relationship, I might not be the right distributor for you. And that really, I've had people say, oh no, that isn't for me then. I go, that's fine, that's where you're at. Friendships are far more value to me than business relationships because at the end of the day, I have no control what happens over in Inagic. If Inagic closed down tomorrow, I still have all these incredible friendships. I obviously can shift my energy elsewhere and I've got skills and talents and, and you know knowledge, experience and even wisdom that can be implemented in another area. But the friendships are solid. And at the end of the day, we choose to invest our energy and our time with people who we like, who we're inspired by, who we build trust with. And sadly, there's too many people out there who are being manipulated into many businesses, not just in Agic, many businesses, which then creates a space, an opportunity for you to show up in your true authentic self. Hopefully that's in alignment with everything that I've been explaining today about being a conscious human being. Now, obviously, that means different things to different people. Well, I'm confident we all know the right, the difference between right and wrong. Um, thank you, Rose. Very kind. Um, I think the people you've tagged actually aren't in the group. So if you've invited them, you might just have to message them and let them know. So that's um, the Enagic Kangen Water Owners, a group to support all owners and distributors. If they're not in the Facebook group, then they won't be able to receive that. Um, so we have come to the hour mark and I do do want to thank you once again for all of your time, energy, the questions that have come through. Now, I mentioned earlier on that as of November, we launched the Your Kang and Water Guy membership, the YKWG membership. So go there, take a look at what it is going to be. There is um, there is so much value not only in the live trainings, there's prizes to be won each month. There's, there's discounts on stuff. There's so much happening in there. So if that's something you're interested in, go and take a look. We've uh, made sure that we're going to be servicing and helping as many people as possible. I decided this month to do two live calls as a, as a gift in there to really help you understand the value of that. Um, so if, if you want more support, Obviously within your Enagic business, but more importantly within your life, then this is exactly what that space is for to support you on this journey. So thank you for your time. Thank you for the engagement, the kind comments. Drop in the chat, drop in the comment section right now, the biggest golden nugget. What was the value you received? Are you grateful for this experience? Let me know because I truly do enjoy going back and receiving that gratitude and finding out the areas. And if you've got any further questions, drop them in and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for your time. Bye for now. Enjoying my YouTube channel? Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive further value.